I am very, I very rarely find myself in a situation where I say I am speechless. I am speechless this evening, listening to the nonsense coming from both sides of this house. We have Fine Gael and their very best friends here in government with them, practically, who are going to come together to ensure that workers cannot have a contract that simply reflects the hours that they work. All I can say is, either ye have not read the legislation, you have not understood it, or you are being quite mischievous and deliberately disingenuous. Any one, any one of these options gives workers out there pause to be very, very concerned over the people uh, who are in government. Zero hours and low hours contracts wreck people's lives. Now, good luck to you and fair play to you if nobody in your family will ever have to work under a low hours or a zero hours contract. But I have represented people and I have fought employers, the people that you're in here defending tonight. And well, you might nod, Minister, because you are in here doing the work of unscrupulous employers, employers who seek to exploit their workers. And you are doing their bidding and Fianna Fáil are doing their bidding and you should collectively hang your heads in Shame. You can keep shouting at me, Minister. Deputy, you can keep Deputy, shouting at me. Please. De Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Collins, please. Deputy Collins, please. Deputy Collins, please. Deputy Collins, please. Please. Deputy Collins, please. Deputy Collins, please. Deputy Collins, please. Please. Ken Carla, yes. if I might, please, might. please. Yeah. because I am being literally barracked you from are. both sides of the House. So I would ask that there might be a Deputy small amount of order. Small amount of order. Deputy Collins, I did not come in here to do what your mother should have done and put banners on you. Will you please allow me to speak? Please. Please, 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 both Minister and Deputy are out of order. Please give way to Deputy O'Reilly, she has the floor. Please continue, Deputy. And maybe if you were slightly less provocative, we wouldn't get this response. Oh, well, Ken Carla, unfortunately, uh, I, I am moved to be such because uh, until re relatively recently, I had the privilege and the pleasure of representing uh, workers who unfortunately found themselves at the mercy of uh, the wonderful legislation brought in by the people in Fine Gael and also their, their best friends in Fianna Fáil, who, uh, when the opportunity presented itself, cut the minimum wage. So I think workers know if they are watching it this evening, they know who's on their side. They know who came in here to fight their corner. And I am very proud, Ken Corley, the fact that I came in here to fight on behalf of working people as I have done all of my life and I will continue to do. And that is precisely what this legislation seeks to do. It seeks to give the woman who is working on a low hour contract enough certainty. It seeks to give her a contract that will reflect the hours that she works. And these are people who are, they are in my family, Count Corla, they are outside of this chamber. And, you know, I, I, I feel, I, I, 
I'm sure the deputies there, the ministers there, live very charmed lives. They never come up against the need for this legislation to protect workers, but it is very real. There is a genuine need for these contracts to be brought in, for the protections contained within this legislation to be brought in. Workers need these protections. I have fought all my life against the people that the ministers here seek to represent, and I will continue to do so. And I'm aware now that my... Uh, that my